It's been a couple weeks now since I finished my Animal Crossing Island. I have the tour all uploaded, the dream address is up, and I'm really proud of how it turned out. There is just one teensy tiny little thing that I decided to skip when finishing my island, and that is the entire house. <laughs> I did not finish my house, um, and that's because I was getting really frustrated and um, stressed out over it. I just couldn't find anything that I liked, and I kept changing my mind, and so, I don't know, it was just complicated. So now my house sits empty, and sad and I figured that we need to do something about that I saw froggy crossing recently did a video where she did every room in her house and I was like oh my god I wish that were me and then I was like wait that can be me if I just do it but here is the kicker I'm going to be using a randomizer for every single room and not just one randomizer but two let me show you what I mean I present to you Two wheels. The first wheel on the left are all themes. I asked my Twitch chat to help me out with this and we came up with a bunch of themes that would be good for inside of the house. And I feel like we covered some major ground here. On the right are room types. So yes, we're not only randomizing the theme for each room, we're randomizing what the room is. I guess the big plan is to roll for each room, see what we get and see if we can even execute it. I have started amassing a giant collection of just as many items as I can get with all sorts of different themes to the items, you know? And I think that we can make it work. I hope so. Shout out to Gary, Trash Panda, everybody in the comments. Leave a thank you to the Trash Panda for helping me get all of these items. Mwah. Appreciate you. Don't know why I went up to heaven. He's just in Canada, you guys. <laughs> if you haven't been to my house already, come on in. It's um, very empty. All the rooms look like this right now. I reset them so I'd have as much stuff to work with as possible. My storage, she's chocked full, chocked to the brim. And I have a bunch of materials to work with in case I need to craft anything, hence Le Crafting de Belle. And in case I want to change my outfit, I have a wardrobe. I don't know. I, just, I like to change my outfit, except I am sporting a beautiful tiny crossing hat from my new merch collection. Shout out Frankie for making this hat for me in Animal Crossing. But yes, we do still have hats available on the website if you would like to check them out. No pressure, but I'm running low. And each time somebody buys a hat, my cat gets a treat. Just kidding, I don't, I haven't been doing that, but I can. I mean, why not? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. But I can't believe I just committed to all of that. Ugh, I am a mother. But I think we need to spin, find out what the first room's gonna be, and decide where we're going to put said room. Dun 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 dun, dun. First spin of the day. Oh my god. Okay, so we got normcore office okay work i love that because if you're not familiar with normcore it was my very popular i it got a lot of views it was a very popular island theme that i did i don't remember when i did it i think it was like last year or something but anyways it was a fun island theme for me because it was very back to basics there wasn't anything particularly special or flashy about it it made us feel nostalgic for when animal crossing first came out you know what i mean all right so here is what we're gonna do if we're gonna do a normcore office i think i'm just gonna to use one of these tiny rooms we'll see what we could put together i'm sure i have some furniture at least that we could work with okay first of all oh why is it green much better i feel like it would be a statement if we kept the walls and the floors like this don't you think that's pretty like normy? i love this wall floor combo not trying to shit on anybody that does use it because i actually do use this combo quite a bit because it's just nice and it's plain and it's easy to work with so how about we do just like a nice little fun rug i don't like the lighting in here actually okay yeah let's turn it up so we'll do the little nook ink mat and then maybe i'll throw you in the corner and have you be at the entrance oh you know what i kind of love the idea of using this study desk she's one of my favorites in the game is it on theme don't care let's just throw a nice little plant in the corner you can never go wrong with a plant the wooden chair wooden chair is pretty dang normal look at that wow what an inconspicuous and normal combo of things okay now what because that was like the end of my ideas <laughs> what do we think i added some stuff look at that incredibly normal table and lamp and photo of a flower also book on the floor isn't that where you guys keep your books well that's where we keep our books in this room right now i'm just kind of going through 
through and seeing what I have that's just like pretty average. It's okay to be average, you know? Nobody needs to be particularly special and flashy and this room does not really need to be. She knows who she is and we respect it. Things are developing. I added a little book nook, moved that other book around. Actually, you need to go buy the book nook. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's exactly where you belong. And then I don't know what to do in this corner yet, but I added a little organizer nearby the door with a lamp. In this corner, what do we do? I don't know. I mean, when in doubt, you can add a cat box. Oh, and perfect. I have a cat tower. Okay, it's a cat corner. You know what's really upsetting? This game has dog plushies out the wazoo. I can easily think of two dog plushies. No cat plushies? Who's gonna use all this stuff? My cat villagers? That's horrifying. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna add some stuff to the walls, to the ceiling. We need to add a gyroid. I also gotta find a way to play like maybe some tunage in here. We'll figure it out. So this is our final room. Not too shabby. Honestly, I feel like we captured the normalcy, the redundancy of everyday life. You come home to your silly little house. You sit at your silly little desk while your city little cat uses the litter box. You read your silly little books, listen to your silly little music, and that's just life, I suppose. I think I'm gonna keep the lighting the same. I kind of forgot to put more stuff on that wall, but that is okay. At least there's one thing, so it doesn't feel like it was totally forgotten about, all right? My last task in this room is to play some music. Oh, it's not, it's really not gonna let me change the music like this. Ah, God, this game is the worst, am I right? So looking through all of my song stuff, I'm just looking for like casual fun. Oh, KK Stroll. Actually, no, the Welcome Horizons theme. Yeah, yeah. That is quintessential early Animal Crossing. Are we ready to spin for the next one? I'm a little nervous, but I am very excited because this has been really fun. I love this little exercise. I feel like I'm just letting my brain juices flow. So without further ado, let's spin both of our wheelies. Oh, give me something good, give me something good. Oh, okay. So far the spinny wheel has been tame. It hasn't given us anything too crazy because modern workshop, I can totally work with that. Where do I want to put that? I don't know. Hmm, lots to think about, definitely. You know, the more I ponder, the more I think I am going to put the modern workshop downstairs. And you want to know why? I want to fill up one of these larger rooms with some Something that I know I can execute and I think modern workshop is something that I can do and I think I have a lot of items for it let's just throw what we can in here and hopefully it looks modern so for a workshop you need a DIY bench the only thing is that um, I have the one upstairs that's pretty and pink and cute and then I have this log one now I don't think this is very modern it's giving very much bridge to Terabithia so let me craft a couple of ironwood things. I think that's going to really help us out with our modern aesthetic. I don't know what makes ironwood. I'm just going to take out everything I can. Ironwood DIY workbench. That's going to look slamming. I think the iron stuff is going to do us a lot of favors here. Oh yeah, the iron stuff. Okay, friends, I am starting to realize I don't have a lot of like modern wall and floor options. This is literally the best I could come up with. This is embarrassing. I could use these, but we're like in the basement. Hmm. <laughs> How about my DIYs? Do I have anything DIY department that could potentially be cool? Okay, we've got a modern wood wall. That's very modern looking. Steel flooring looks good too. Shoo, okay, yeah. We can salvage this. I'm a little less worried. Do you think maybe the steel flooring would look the best with this wall? Yep. Yep, we're gonna try it. Let's see what it looks like. Here's what we got. It's a little bit of a dreary, dark looking workshop. If we just roll with that, I think it's smooth sailing. Oh God, I gotta do so much stuff. Jeez, I gotta customize and make all this stuff darker. This colorway is not going to do, darling. We could do the old. Yeah, old. Ew, I just watched that movie. It was horrible. It was literally so bad. Old. But don't you think that's like modern and chic and like vintagey, like cool? Okay, I think the workbench just like boom 
right in the middle of the room. That's pretty epic. And easily accessible if I want to use this room in the future. I think this bulb hanging in the middle of the room is cool. I have a couple other things too that I wanted to pull from my arsenal. Sink, vacuums, yes. Garbage. Also this glowing moss shelf is kind of interesting. This is already such a good assortment of items. Progress is being made. I have laid out a pretty decent floor plan here in my opinion somehow all the items that i have already are just like the perfect colors for this somebody really wanted me to do this color scheme today and it might have been past me okay i am starting to remember that i also have to do like four more rooms after this one okay i don't want to put too much stuff in here because what if i plan this out poorly and i end up with like no items by the last room it'd be literally embarrassing oh these posts Posters are for sure modern. And then the skateboard, we're done. I'm wiping my hands clean. I got nothing else to give this room. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I want to put more stuff in here and like spend more time, but I really just don't want to screw myself over for later. Can't get too carried away. We're definitely putting this little camera on this little cart. How adorable. But I would say this is a pretty modern looking workshop. I almost forgot about the most important part. I have no roids in here. I can't even believe I almost forgot about the most important part of any Animal Crossing build. What music are we going to play? Oh God, it's not gonna let me... <sighs> I gotta move the damn music player so that I can even put music on it. Jesus criminy. What's a modern song? Do I have anything cool? Ooh, KK Dub. KK Dub because I'm gonna take the dub on building my house today. Yeah. Hey, I love it. This is our modern workshop. Modern's a hard one, but I think that we did decently well. And if you have any criticism, keep it to yourself or I'll cry. Two rooms down, four to go. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Let's do it. Um, grandma kids room. Does that mean grandma is also sleeping in kids room or like when i was little i lived at my grandma's house and i wasn't allowed to like decorate my room so i just lived in a grandmotherly room huh much to think about with this one also shout out my grandma for letting me live in her house i'll cheers to that one i'm gonna use this small room back here yeah now what i'm thinking of is using a bunch of like the antique the ranchy looking stuff making it look grandmotherly and then having a bunch of kids stuff in the room if you don't if you're not following that's okay you'll get it because I am going to crush this one this theme was made for me was it made for the things that I have currently inside of my storage I am not so sure about that so this is the furniture that I have picked out right now a combination of like the ranch and the antique set grandma's be having grandfather clocks in the house I still remember that chime the da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> loved that loved that so much all the time oh yes the elegant blue rug hell yeah now i haven't even thought about the wallpaper in the floors whoa that is so unlike me normally i do that first beige blossoming wall okay shut your mouth this is actually exactly what we're doing how about this one? Oh. Oh my god. Let me finish making this room like a room from my grandma's house and then we'll come back and we're gonna add like all the toys. Here is my final grandma part of the grandma kids room. So uh, my grandma is a painter. She's a very talented painter. She did paint the Mona Lisa but all around my grandma's house were all of her paintings growing up and so I decided to add paintings as a part of the room especially like on the easel. Um what else? I I figured I would add another dresser in here because like grandmas love storage. This is a known fact. And I don't think there was anything else really because I wanted to keep it simple and clean and not too much clutter, right? That's why grandmas love storage is because they don't want clutter. Now I want to add kids stuff and I want it to feel like it doesn't fit at all. I want it to feel like every time grandma steps foot in the room, she's going to have a heart attack. Oh, we're going with this bright ass toy box. Grandmas look at that hot pink and their eyes start to bleed oh god what, what is wrong with me today <laughs> one thing i'm wishing right now is that i had more like toys but i think i have a good assortment of just like junk here so what do you think um i am having a feeling that some of you guys are gonna be like what the hell are you even doing like what is this to me this is exactly 
on the fucking money. Grandma, kids room. Last thing we need to add is a gyroid and I'm looking at all of our options here. I'm thinking, do we want a gyroid that's like kid-like or do we want one that's grandma-like? I think we should do a grandma crumpleoid. And then, ooh, the lights are off kinda. It looks really good like this. It's a little dingy feeling and all of like the pink toys really just pop. Shout out my grandma. Moving on, we're halfway through now. Let's roll her up. What's next? Give me something kitchen maybe? I'd love a kitchen. Minimalistic dining room. Again, all of these have been very tame. Why don't we do it in here? Yeah, because I was thinking I wanted to use the upstairs as like a big open space, but this is also a big open space. Not as big, mind you, but it's big. Okay, yeah, let's see what we can do. I know that um, the minimalist style, like all the minimalist girlies that play Animal Crossing probably cream over the Nordic furniture. Hopefully, maybe I have enough chairs to pull something together? Not really. Oh, would minimalist girlies instead just use a poof as a chair? I only have one Nordic chair. So what if we did Nordic chair and two poofs? Wallpaper and flooring. Hmm, I'm so toughy. I kind of like the white wall, but maybe we do a different flooring like this. It's really mishy mashy with the furniture. Is there a rug that screams, I don't like things? things. Butthole rug? No. That, in fact, is the opposite. Okay, rugs are hard because I don't have a lot here. We could do the yellow stripes. That could be cute. DIYs, are you gonna save the day again? Okay, so the round vine rug is cute. It's just so small. I do wish that she was bigger. My actual thing that I actually wish is that we could change the sizes of rugs. That would be killer, but instead I will suffer. Not really seeing a lot in terms of rug action. That would be good for our minimalist room. Okay, so this is what I envision the layout for the room to be. This rug is just so dang small and it's bothering me. Do I use this shoji screen to make the wall more interesting? I don't have a ton of options here and I don't want to do anything too intricate, but doesn't this feel a little boring, but also I'm like kind of chronically low on wall items. I really don't have a lot besides like wreaths. For some reason, I have every freaking wreath. Maybe what we do is we use the screen and just have that be most of the wall decoration. Okay, the uh, aesthetic is kind of all over the place here. Please bear with me. There's just like such a lack of color, but like that's kind of the point, isn't it? Okay, let's try, let's, let's try a couple different rugs here. Retro dotted rug. No. Record rug. You suck too. You suck a lot. How about the cow print? Ooh, kind of like offset like that. Wait a minute. Is that cool? Is that cool? Calling all minimalists. Would you do this? I mean, I wish it was bigger, but I kind of love this setup. I love how simple it is. For wall decor, I'm going to say F it and do nothing. That's the most minimalist thing I can think of. Okay. Got to put some music on and then I think I'm done. What? Does this thing just... It doesn't play music? Good. Damn it. Oh, but it was so cute and like Urban Outfitters and shit. It says tabletop record player. How come I could not get it to play music? Okay, this is, this is okay. What is minimalist music? Like the least amount of music? <laughs> Stale cupcakes is like the least amount of music. I love this little strumming guy too. He's just great. He's great. This might be an unpopular room as well. What do you think? Did I do a minimalist dining room? I think I did my darndest with what I have. If I had all the things at my disposal, I think I would have done this a little bit differently. So what is next? This is our second to last room. Cottage core! Cottage core streamer room. <laughs> Damn it, what? I want like a bedroom, I want like a kitchen, like please help me out here. But we've got another office, AKA a streamer room though. So it's a little bit different. The only two rooms I even have left are the upstairs big room and then this one off to the left. I don't think I have enough stuff to fill like a streamer room upstairs in the big room. So I'm really hoping that our last room that we get does not screw us over in that sense. Okay, cottage core, cottage core, 
our cottage of the core, core of the cottage. Oh God, the whole thing is gonna look so weird with like streamer stuff. I know there's some cottage core bitches that stream. What do your offices look like? Please tell me maybe I have like a computer or some, yes. Okay, I have a laptop. Some girlies stream off laptops. Cause you know, I do have this like gaming desk, but these are the colors I have and I'm not walking all the way to Harv's Island. Those are gonna look like shat. So this is our next best thing, honestly. All of the mixed mesh wood tones are really stressing me out right now. Okay, so we'll keep like maybe the wood separated. <laughs> this looks so silly. Oh God, my eyes itching. I hate that. I, I hate this right now. I'm just upset, you guys. I'm just upset. Do I have a cottage core rug? <sighs> no, I like really don't. We do have this rug. I just feel like cottage core is not so dark because you know, we could go with this color scheming that's happening in the corner, but like it's just dark. Oh my God, this is horrendous. This is horrendous. This is, <laughs> this is so bad. I wish I had all of the stuff that I used in the grandma room. Room. That's what's happening here. You know, I am so effing tempted to just put this wagon in here. So this is kind of what we're looking at here. We can turn up the lights a little bit. Let's focus on the streamer part. So I know I have to use this like little video camera. I'm just gonna put it right next to the desk. Please tell me I have a ring light. Yes, so streamer. We also have a mirror because you know, streamers just love to look at themselves all day. Are you even a streamer? if you're not obsessed with how you're being perceived. It's just so damn orange in here. What the hell? Okay, wait. White wall. Fuck, it just looks so basic. What am I doing? Okay, what's more cottage core than a forest? <laughs> What is happening? Okay, no, 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 no. We could do the whole forest on the floor. Okay, what about this? Is not so terrible with like the lighter furniture. I think there are worse things in this life than maybe a little bit of like wood tone mismatching. I refuse to go buy things, so is this my only option? I can't even tell if it looks good anymore or if I'm just desperate. Okay, if we turn the lights off, it looks a little bit better. It's not so bad. I wish I had more like plants and stuff. And in general, I'm just kind of like lacking in the cottage core department. But you know what? Cottage core people love buckets. Every time you go to a cottage core island, there is a bucket or two or 10 or 20. Is there a cottage cottage core soundscape? Forest. Now, I also don't have a music player. I don't really have a cottage core one either. I'll tell you that much. Okay, we're doing a classic little tape deck moment. This is effed up. I will be the first to admit not my best work. I'm also, I'm putting in my other twangoid because I think that he would do amazing things in this room. But this is the most cottage core I could have made it without, you know, doing a ton of extra work. Definitely my least favorite room. I'm ready to go. Get me out of here. Please, for the love of God, I want a bedroom. I want a bathroom or kitchen, please. If I get another office, I don't give a shit. I'm re-rolling. Also, keep me away from like the cottage core stuff. I don't have any more of that furniture. I'm really suffering here, love. I'm suffering. I need something good and something that I can actually do. Ah, Jesus, please. Oh, fancy and elegant guest room. I'm gonna have to gather some stuff, but I'm kind of glad we got a guest room because at least we'll have a bedroom. I'm back. I did a lot of things. I ordered items from the Nook Shopping and Happy Home Paradise. Customized a bunch of things at Reese and Cyrus's, so hopefully I am okay now. I am, however, going to stay in chill mode because I my back hurts. <laughs> so let us decorate our last room, the fancy and elegant guest room. We're starting off strong with a couple of different wall options. I decided to go with like a darker color scheme as well to contrast with like all of the lightness that's in the house at the moment. I wasn't able to get like a bunch of stuff, but I did get a good amount of things. Hopefully it'll pull together really well. I hope so. I just spent like 30 minutes customizing and ordering and thinking things through. We're gonna do this like brown wall all the way around. Boom, accent wall, baby. Why does it look so ugly actually now that I'm like seeing it in person instead of in concept in my brain? Oh my God, this is horrendous. Okay, fancy and elegant whom we're going going spooky and cool. Ah! 
I tried, you guys. I had to go and order some items because I really did run out of stuff. But unfortunately, that doesn't mean I have enough stuff to actually do this. Nobody said it was easy. <laughs> what if we turn the lights off? Here, we'll do like extremely low lighting. Let's only turn the lights up as much as they need before it gets, oh, see there, it just got ugly. I am losing my mind. I, this is so ugly. Do I even have wall stuff? That's like something I totally forgot about. Jesus, I am severely low on wall stuff, except uh, wreaths. When in doubt, when in doubt, wreath it out. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What I do now is this room is gonna be very interesting by the time I'm done with it. You know, I'm just really sad that my rug thing didn't work out. Why did I get like a light one instead of a dark one when I knew I was gonna go dark? Maybe we'll even turn the lights down a little bit more, yeah. And then I didn't even get like a music player. <laughs> Jesus. No! What we do have is this portable record player. What are we gonna play? Give me some. Etude, etude, tutti fruity. This is our final result. You know, you can definitely tell this is the last room that I did. The other ones were really good. We started off so strong and then it just kind of slowly has petered off. I do have to say, it's not terrible for, you know, the bottom of the barrel of my storage. Wow, all right. What a journey we have just been on. <laughs> Gotta say, I love the randomizer concept. I felt like we had a lot of really similar vibes with the randomizer, and I tried to keep it as random as possible, you know, obviously by doing the two wheels. But for some reason, the randomizer just wanted me to have like as cute of a house as possible. Except the top upstairs room that we just did. That's actually um, the exception. Yeah, this was a really, really fun exercise. I obviously recommend it for anybody that wants to try it. You know, go ahead. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm really close to 100K, so make sure you subscribe. Appreciate you so much. Check out my Twitch stream. We got Discord, Instagram, Twitter. Check it all out. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so. And I will see you in the next one.